This is a recipe that my family particularly likes. It's mini French crullers. And it's the dough is like a pot of choux dough, which is an eclair type dough. And it's so delicious, they are so light and crispy. We're gonna start off with a pot and a burner and put in one cup of regular water, six tablespoons of butter. It helps if it's soft, doesn't have to be, but as long as it melts. Two teaspoons of sugar and a half a teaspoon of salt. And what I want to do is use a wooden spoon for this is I wanna wait until this comes to a boil, it's almost there and completely melts the butter before we move on. The other ingredients that we're going to need for this recipe, as long as we're waiting for this, is one cup of flour and three eggs that have been separated. I've got the yolks here and the whites here. So as soon as this comes to a boil, we can proceed. The butter is almost melted. You can see the steam coming off it, so you know it's almost at that boiling point. Getting close. You really want this to be at a boil when you start the next step. And keep your one cup of flour handy because that's the next thing that's going in here and there it is it's a boil so i'm going to add my flour and now stir vigorously to get it blended and it's going to come on it's going to come into a big clumpy lump and that's exactly what you want but you want to continue cooking it over this heat for about a minute so you're cooking the flour out if you see any pockets of flour, kind of blend those up. And when you see it starting to film on the bottom of the pot, that's when you know it's done, which is just about there. Okay, I'm gonna take that off of the heat and I'm gonna get rid of my burner. And I'm going to get my mixer bowl and I'm gonna dump this in the mixer. You see that steam, it's still very, very hot, so I don't wanna add the eggs just yet. So I'm gonna put the paddle attachment on, and I'm gonna let this run for one minute, just about until this stops steaming and it cools down a bit. If I add the eggs now, I'm just gonna have scrambled eggs. So we need about a minute for that. All right, our mixture has cooled down quite a bit. It's not steaming like a volcano anymore. It's still very warm, but uh, I think it's safe enough to start adding the yolks one at a time. separating the eggs is you may not need all of the whites to be incorporated. You don't want this to be really soupy, so add them gradually. You can always stop. You want it to be something that you can still pipe through a piping bag. So a little bit of the yolks, half. Every time I've made this recipe so far though, I've had to put all the whites in. I'm going to stop it and scrape down the sides a little. You can see, if you were looking at this right now, you'd see it's still kind of a non-cohesive bunch of blobs. It'll come together. One more wipe down. And it's already come together nicely, so I know it's working.
Now while that's mixing, what I have here is a piping bag. If you don't have piping bags, you can use a freezer bag. Use something that's thicker than a regular bag because the, the seams will burst sometimes. And I've got a coupler and on it I have a, a star tip, what they call an open star tip. And um, if you don't have one of these, you don't have to use it, but this makes the ridges on the crawler and those get nice and crusty. So you really kind of need something like this. And then I put it into a pitcher like this that I have because I've only got two hands and it's hard to hold and push that stuff in there. And that is about right. If you've ever made a pot of shoe before, this is the same thing. Very, very similar. I'm going to show you a, kind of a, a unique way to get these into the oil, too. Because the dough is so sticky, you might say, oh, how are you going to get that into the, how are you going to shape that? And You'll see. Okay, so first, let's get our dough into our bag. That's the consistency. Very eggy. And this recipe uh, will make anywhere from, I think 20 to 21 donuts, because I'm making minis. Get everything down, and I will get my pan. I get clean this up. I'll get my pans out, and then we can. I'll show you how to pipe them. All right, I cleaned up the decks a little bit. This is one trick that bakers use sometimes to push all the stuff down. Is use one of these bench scrapers, to just push it down. Now, what we're going to do? I've got my sheet pans is I've cut out some squares of parchment paper and we're going to pipe each donut onto a separate piece of parchment paper. And the way we're gonna bake the, uh, fry these is we're gonna dump the whole thing, paper and all, into the hot oil. And then this paper will come right off and it'll leave you a nice donut. If you, and you have to spray this before you pipe. If you don't spray it, you're gonna be pushing it off and your donuts are gonna be all misshapen. So I'm just going to Put some on my sheet like that. And I can overlap a little bit, I think. I'll do that same thing on my second pan. can overlap a little because you're not going to fill up the entire square. You're only going to fill up like the middle. Because as I said, these are minis. Okay, I think that'll be enough for now. And then with my spray. I think I'm running out of spray here. I'm going to have to start a new can pretty soon. Yes, I am. All right, I've got to get a new can of spray. Hold on. Back with my spray. There we go. That's good. You can see how the paper kind of curls up a little bit. You just have to deal with it. And now I'm just going to pipe rounds. And don't worry about those little tails that you get. I'll show you how to get rid of those. And I don't know how many I'm going to get. Like I said, the last time I made them, I think I got 19. Really depends on how big you make those circles.
All right, that's as many as I think I'm gonna get. Maybe I can squeeze one more out, I'm not sure. Let's give it a shot. I'm getting desperate by pushing down into the tube. That's okay, one more donut. And there we go. Now, I'm gonna put these aside. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet my finger and I'm gonna tap down these tops and they will just sit down nicely so you don't have these things sticking up all over the place or if one of them kind of went astray, you can correct them that way. I'm going to get out my fryer and my oil and get that heated up and then I'll show you how to fry these. We're ready to fry. The oil is up to 370 degrees and I know it's a small little fryer, but I'm only showing you a few just for demonstrations. You don't want to sit here and watch me fry all afternoon. So here I go. I'm going to dump the whole thing in, paper and all, like I said. And after about one or two seconds with a pair of tongs, I just go in there and peel it up. Now we'll fry these about two minutes per side. I can fit two of these in here, so I'll put another one in. There we go. So two minutes per side. And then we'll drain them on my, my bright green paper towels left over from the holidays. I'm just using a wooden skewer to flip them and put them in and out. You can use a chopstick or a butter knife. You can use just about anything you have handy. So give them a flip and another two minutes. All right, that's been about two minutes per side. I'm gonna take them out, drain them off. You can see how nicely they came out. They're nice and crispy. When these cool down completely, I'm gonna dust them with confectioner's sugar and we're gonna eat them. And I'll show you the whole batch when they're all done. But right now, I'm gonna finish frying these. The French crawlers are all done. All they need now is a little spanking of confectioner's sugar. Look at that. That's one of the reasons why you want that star tip. See how defined you can see the lines in the cruller and it's actually grabbing all the confectioner's sugar in there. And that's where a lot of crunch went when it, they were frying. Oh boy, these are gonna be good. This is so light and airy. Crunchy on the outside like air on the inside. Yum, yum, yum. These are easy to make. They're even easier to eat. And I hope you try them.